In this video, we're going to look at edges, faces, and vertices. For three dimensional shapes, it's very important you know what these terms are. So let's first of all start off by looking at this cube and look at what a face is. A face is an individual surface of the shape. So here we've got the front face. We've got a face on the side, right hand side. We've got a face on the top. We'd have a face on the bottom. We'd have a face on the left hand side and a face on the back. So a face is an individual surface of a three dimensional shape. An edge. An edge joins the corners of the shape together. The corners are actually called uh, vertices, or one of them would be called a vertex. A vertex is one corner, vertices is the plural. Okay, so this is a vertex, this is a vertex, this is a vertex, this is a vertex, this would be a vertex, this would be a vertex, the back left hand uh, bottom corner would be a vertex, there'd be a vertex there, and there'd be a vertex here at the front. Altogether, there's eight vertices. The plural is vertices, and the singular is vertex. So a vertex is a corner, it's where edges meet. And an edge are the lines that join these vertices together. Okay, so here would be an edge, this would be an edge, there'd be an edge here, and an edge here, so four edges along the top. There'd be one, two, three, four vertical edges, and there'd be four edges on the bottom. So a cube would have um, 12 edges, it would have six faces, and it would have eight corners, eight vertex, uh, vertices, okay? So there are the different um, terms which you might need to know for your maths exams. Let's have a look at some typical questions now. So here is a cuboid. This is a very nice question because it actually tells you to begin with. A cuboid has six faces. Well, as we've just seen, it's got the front, the back, the left, the right, the top and the bottom. So it's eight, uh, six faces, eight vertices and 12 edges. Here's a square base pyramid. Write down the number of faces. So let's start off with looking at this square base pyramid and look at the faces. Well, a square base pyramid's got a square on the bottom, so that'd be one. It's then got one, two, three, four triangles. So altogether, that would be five faces. Let's count the vertices. Well, there's a vertex at the top. There's one there, there's one there. There's actually four on the bottom, one on the top. So altogether, there'd be five vertices. And now let's count the edges. So, actually let's count these. Let's just rub off these marks so far to count the edges. So for the edges, you would have um, one, two, three, four edges on the bottom. And then you'd have four leading up to the top. And that's it. So that would be eight altogether. So this is eight edges for a square base pyramid. So a square base pyramid has five faces, five vertices, and eight edges. Okay, let's have a look at another exam question. So here the diagram shows us a solid prism. Well, we know this is actually a triangular um, triangular prism. So it's a triangular prism, or some people call it the Toblerone bar. So it's a triangular prism. It's got a triangle at the front, and it's got the same cross section the whole way through. The question says write down the number of vertices. So let's count them. One, two, three. So it's three vertices at the front. Remember vertices is another word for corners. And there's one, two, three vertices at the back. So altogether there'd be six vertices. Let's count the faces. So for the faces, there's a triangle at the front and there's a triangle at the back. And there's one, two, three rectangles. So altogether that would be five faces. And finally, let's count the number of edges. So the number of edges would be, well, we'd have um, these three edges here at the front, one, two, three. We'd have the three edges leading um, along the shape like that. So it'd be, that'd be a number three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's three at the back. So altogether, that would be nine edges. So there's six vertices, six corners. There's five faces, the triangle, the triangle, and the three rectangles, and there's nine edges, nine lines that join the corners together, nine edges. Let's look at our last question. And then this question says, here's a diagram of a prism, and it says, write down the number of faces. Well, we've got a trapezium at the front and a trapezium at the back. We'd have a rectangle on the right-hand side and a rectangle on the left-hand side, or it could be a square, we don't actually know the dimensions. And then we have, so that's one at the front, one at the back, one on the side and one on the other side, one on the top and one on the bottom. So altogether, the six faces of, for this um, prism. The number of edges, let's count the number of edges. So we've got one, two, three, four at the front. One, two, three, four leading back, that's eight. And then over four at the back, so then that would be 12 edges. And finally, we've been asked to find the number of vertices, the number of corners for the shape. So let's count our vertices. 
we have got one, two, three, four in the top, and we have got one, two, three, four in the bottom. So all together, that would be eight vertices, and that's it. So just to recap, a face is an individual surface of a three-dimensional shape. We have got edges, edges that would join the vertices or the corners together. And the vertex, uh, a vertex or vertices are the individual corners of the shape, it's where the edges meet. Okay, and that's it.